Hey guys, Mike with Iceberg Gaming. In today's Icarus guide, I'm going to be showing you how to craft steel in Icarus. Now this is a little bit complicated and confusing, so if you're confused, don't feel bad, just follow along. First, we'll go over the talents that we need. So you need to be at least level 20 so that you can hit tier 3. Aside from the normal crafting benches, we need mortar and pestle, epoxy, and steel bloom from tier 2. And concrete mixer and concrete furnace. The cement mixer and concrete furnace furnace from tier three. The iron is crafted at the concrete furnace, which is crafted at the machine bench. To craft the concrete furnace, you will need 12 iron ignits, eight rope, 12 epoxy, and 20 concrete mix. To get the concrete mix, we need the cement mixer. We also craft that at the machine bench. That will cost us 50 wood, 40 stone, 20 iron ingots, 8 rope, and 8 iron nails. Once the cement mixer is up and running, we will need 1 tree sap, 8 stone, and 4 silica for each concrete bag, and we will need 20 of them. We craft the tree sap and epoxy at our mortar and pestle. little pro tip for you, I like to pl place my mortar and pestle on top of my crafting bench to save space. The tree sap will take 4 sticks each. And the epoxy takes four tree saps and two, two sulfur each. After your concrete furnace is built, it functions just like the regular smelter. You can smelt the original iron and copper in here, as well as all the advanced materials. The thing we're looking for here is down at the bottom, steel ingots. And they will take one steel bloom each. Now to craft this, we're going to head back to our mortar and pestle. Back at our mortar and pestle, each steel bloom and therefore each steel ingot ingot will take six iron ore and one coal each thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video or found it at all helpful please consider hitting a like comment and subscribe it really helps me out as a content creator thank you so much